Guild Boss 4. Welcome back to another Bit Legend video, boys. So, just like the title says, we're going to do Guild Boss 4 today. Um, I've done the math. He has 90 million health. How did I do the math? I added up all the damage that we dealt. I used the percentage of health missing on this guy, and uh, blah, 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 90 million. Um, just for a quick little note, since I have it in front of me, the first Guild Boss is 2 million health. The second guild boss is 4.5 million health. The third guild boss is 9 million health. And then again, the fourth guild boss right now, based on the numbers, is 90 million health. He also does a self-shielding skill. He has a 1 or 2 SP self-shield, and he also has a 4 SP self-shield. It's self-shields for 18,000 and I think 28,000 respectively, so we'll see that in a second. Um, I showed you the loot there. I'm gonna show you the guild boss loot for number two. You see number two has the left ancient blade. Number three has the right ancient blade. Number four doesn't have any of the materials, fortunately. Um, and the reason I say fortunately is because um, killing him is gonna be basically very close to impossible, I don't know. We've got him down 1.5% right now, um, so theoretically maybe we could. Keep in mind that this event is the first guild boss week and it only started with five days on the timer. So um, maybe next week we'll have a seven day timer. I guess I could look at the percentage of how far that bar is filled. I think it, yeah, the bar is gonna cap out at seven days. Um, so we'll have more attacks next time we fight it, but we're gonna give it a shot, of course, and see if my guild can grind through it. Um, yeah, so let us jump in there and get to it. That's been enough talking. I'm gonna change my team up um, he doesn't attack random two, and so you might think I want a tank there, but I actually don't know. And there's also a attack team skill, I believe. So this is what I'm thinking about bringing. Um, I've got heals on full armor mech, I've got heal team on pioneer, I've got good damage on swordsman. Swordsman has performed the best out of all the damage logs that I've seen from my guildies. And then Pharaoh is there. He can take a hit, do some healing. Um, I think I'm going to start off like this. And then depending on how everything goes, I'm going to um, take out one of my healers. And then I'll try to put in another DPS. But we got three attempts. This is my first time trying this boss. So let's just see how it goes for a tank. Most DPS players are bringing... Oh, yeah, that's a lot of damage. Uh, most DPS players are bringing um, just a ton of tanks. And there you go. So there is an attack random skill. I'm going to do um, just a basic attack because the trash gets killed so easily. And then hopefully my pet can keep up. I don't know. It depends where that attack random goes. I mean, he could definitely one-shot somebody. My pet's doing pretty well here. Hopefully I can get my shielding skill off of my tank. There we go. We got some healing there. Pioneer is getting pounded. I am concerned about that. I will do the heal team skill because everybody's taking damage. Um, and then you see the heal bug there that has not been fixed. I'm going to heal Pioneer here. And then I'm going to save SP on Pharaoh just in case. I hear you pinging me on Discord. I'll get to that in a second. That's also the healing bug again, which really, really needs to get fixed. I'll submit this video. Um, <laughs> I'll submit this video and show the healing bug in there. Hopefully it gets fixed. So there was a crit on the attack all skill and um, my whole team died. This boss is very reminiscent of fighting Adam. There you see the shield skill, so there's the 27,000 shielding right there. Um, let's keep that in mind. And then there's the 18,000 shielding right there. Um, so if you, oh, I did the wrong skill. So if you're a tank, uh, yeah, this is pretty rough. Even if I had tanks in the team, um, I don't think it would have been significant. I'm just gonna try to save up and hopefully I can get a mount skill off. But he has a ton of shielding going right now. So I think it's just gonna do shield skills. And the reason why you saw the zero damage there is because he's pumping out shields. So I think specific to these guild bosses, if you're damaging their shields, um, it's gonna show you zero damage because it's not gonna add up. So here we did um, 37,000 damage, which is really, 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 really bad. Um, 
compared to DPS players. But, you know, we're a tank, it's kind of part of the idea. So, um, we're gonna go in there again. I don't really know what I would change about the team. Why is my friend request pinging? Did I get it? What is that? Why is there a notification here? I've never seen the notification here and I don't have any, uh, I don't know, that was weird. See how it's kind of blinking over there on friends? Anyways, let's get back to guild boss. I think there's like a one minute downtime between, yeah, there's a three minute downtime from the boss. <clears throat> this used to be a one minute yesterday. I think they've increased the cooldown because um, maybe too many people were joining the boss at the same time. And if um, there's an error right now that's been reported and it should be fixed, but basically, let's say you and I attack the same boss um, at the same time. And if you kill the boss while I'm still fighting the boss, what happens is my damage is not contributing to the damage meter um, and I still lose my attack. So they're gonna have to find a way to, to change that. The, the best answer for that would be just to refund the attempt for the person. But we have had that happen a couple times where um, two players attack the boss at the same time, player one kills the boss, player two finishes the battle after the kill, and then no, their contribution is not um, put there. It's not helped. But um, yeah, so a minute and a half. What can I stall for a minute and a half? Oh, I know what I can tell you guys about. There is a change in the game right now that uh, I'm, not, I'm not loving it. So the description on the healing pets, it said of hit point. Um, so it's a 86 to 110 percentage of hit points. And a lot of players, myself included, took that to mean the, um, the stamina stat. So, however, these pets in testing, we found out that they, they are going off of your attack stat. So they have upgraded, or not upgraded, they have um, updated the tooltip to say of attack here. Um, I still think it's, it's a little bit confusing in the translation. Also, I'm, I'm very not pleased about this right now because a lot of players, myself included, targeted these pets specifically because we believe that they were based off of hit points. They were based off the stamina stat. Um, and a lot of players, myself included, upgraded these pets based on the description. So I don't know, I hope this is fixed. Um, to be honest, Heal Weakest 2, it's, in my opinion, it's the best healing pet right now. However, if the game ever adds a spread heal, um, then that pet would be much better than this pet. And so I'd, I'd probably be getting rid of this pet anyways. But I gotta say I'm disappointed that um, the functionality of the pet did not match the description and I, I hope that something will change there as well. And if you look at the um, little angel, this used to say of attack and it, the way it read sound like the attack the enemy dealt to you. They have updated this tooltip as well and it's based off your attack stat. So we're gonna see some tanks start to drop a little bit stamina, put it in their attack stat to get better output of their pet. Um, that's gonna be difficult to do until your, your defensive bonuses are basically capped out. But anyways, let's jump back in. That's kind of a side note. I'm just stalling because there's a timer on the guild boss. Let's jump back in and do it again. Um, would I change anything? Um, I think two healers is enough. I can take Pharaoh out and put in maybe Deity. Yeah. Let's put in Deity. Um, and there we go. I wasn't really using heals off of Pharaoh. I was only using heals off Pioneer and off Full Armor Mech. So, we shall see. Swordsman is very low stamina. Deity is very low stamina for me to bring them. Um, however, the attack all skill crit and killed everybody anyways, so I don't know if it really matters. But here we go. Attempt number two. Here we go, boys. All right. Woo! That's a spicy. To have bosses that have attack random without having a redirect mechanic is also very difficult. Keep an eye on the boss, he has four SP. Let's see what skill he's gonna use. He hit me, hopefully Pioneer will have a chance to throw a heal in here. Um, remember last time my entire team died before I could use my shielding skill. Here we have attack closest, that's why I'm bringing him. Decent damage there, we do have a kill. Of course, um, you can't use potions and I'm just confirming that there. So we've already lost one of our guys before I got a chance to heal. We will get the heal team skill off, but you see the healing bug there. Um, showing overhealing on the bars and then when my pet comes through, or excuse me, when my sanctification talent comes through, it resets the bars to where they should be. Um, since everybody's probably gonna die in the next attack anyways, I'm just gonna do damage. Um, it kind of seems or feels like 
Maybe just doing damage and not trying to heal might be the way. I don't know. Zero damage there because the boss has a shield. The boss still has a shield. I do get my shielding skill off, so that is nice. We will last a little bit further. Also, um, in previous videos, I've shown uh, tombstone tanking, where if there's an attack front two skill, I would move somebody out of the front slot. I don't know if that works. I'm gonna do a shield, or I'm gonna do a heal skill here. I don't know if that actually works. Um, however, a lot of the attacks are attack random two, and so tomb, tombstone tanking wouldn't be effective there either. Um, yeah, I don't know if I can punch through this shield, man. This is rough. So, very interesting. This is very early on. Um, I'll do another healing skill just to see how long we can go. The boss does enrage at, um, after 30 boss attacks, the bosses will enrage. That's what we were told, and that seems to be um, pretty accurate. Um, even though Pioneer died there, I was actually fairly impressed with what Pioneer could do here. Um, but yeah, so after 30 attacks, the boss enrages. Um, at that point, you can't deal any damage to the boss. And um, there goes the shielding again. And even a reflex, since you can't do any damage to the boss, um, well, it doesn't do any damage. And there we go. So 45,000. I think that was the enrage timer. I'm not 100% certain, but I think that was. Hmm. I'm going to take Dee Dee out. Er, hmm. I want, I want more high stamina fans in there. More high stamina minions. Let me check the timer and make sure. All right. So it's like two and a half minute timer, maybe three minute timer if I'm stalling. Um, let's see what else. Oh, I can roll a chip for you guys. Let's see what we got here. Um, I didn't talk about the recipe yet. So this is the Thunder Fury weapon. It is awesome. We don't know the skills about it, but obviously you can see the bonuses there. So this is something that DPS players are going to want. This is something that tank players are going to want. Um, the alternative for this is um, the tank set weapon that has 2% diversion, but this has 2.5% absorb, and it has 5% damage reduction, which is better than anything in the game right now. Um, if you add up the total stats on it, it's like 452, so you're getting a ton more total stats. A lot of players have wondered why this isn't just um, given a different rarity instead of mythic. Maybe it should be like an artifact or something. And if you click on this, it even calls it an artifact. It says, materials for reforging the artifact Thunder Fury. So they're already kind of calling it an artifact. I know it can be a little confusing because there's so many different qualities in tier nine for mythics. So I, I definitely get that. But if you look, so this comes from Guild Boss 2, this comes from Guild Boss 3, and then you can craft 10 of these phase solvents and you can see the recipe there. Um, for an ancient item, I don't think this is an unreasonable amount of crafting materials. Like, yes, you're going to need 300 nuggets. That's going to take a long time. But honestly, by the time you get any of these um, blade pieces, uh, you're probably going to have the material. That's going to be the least of your worries. Um, I am fairly frustrated, I guess is the right word, um, with the guild loot system right now. Right now, it's anonymous. So, for example, um, this middle piece used to be, I think the first piece, the bid was six, and now it's up to seven. So somebody in the guild has bid on this. There's no way of knowing who has bid on this um, unless people communicate in the guild. There's no functionality for it. It doesn't say bid price seven, um, top of bidder Gavix or something. That would be kind of nice to see. Of course, if somebody bids on an item and they use the item, then you'll see them wearing it later. But, you know, there's, there's not a lot of tools here to manage your guild if you wanted to do that. It's just kind of free for all, and that's not the best way to do progression. Um, and then if we scroll over here, this is what dropped from Guild Boss 3. So we have a weapon. Again, we can't see weapon skills. It's cool to see a weapon here. These bonuses are amazing for a DPS player. Crit damage, speed, and triple damage. Right now, my guildies are trying to math out how triple damage and crit are working after the change when they both happen at the same time. Um, half of them think that they want to get rid of all triple because they don't like the way triple and crit's working together. The other half is still trying to figure out um, how the damage goes, but I would really like to see a skill button here where I could click and look through the skills and see like, you know, if, what if I'm a DPS player and I see this and I think that these, uh, these bonuses are amazing. Um, a quality nine mythic, of course, is something I want. And then you get the item and then the skills are just completely the opposite of what you want. Now, I'm not saying that that's, that is the case here. Energy cannon, 
Um, the one thing that you can do is you can find a legendary energy cannon and you can see what skills that has. Even if it's in a lower tier, the skills of a mythic energy cannon should be somewhat similar to a legendary energy cannon. So that's one way you can kind of check it out, but it would be nice to see. Um, but we're lacking any way to monitor this, to just see what's going on. There's no real guild tools that can help with that, but hopefully, all right, I've rambled enough. Let's get back. This is my third attack on the guild boss. What do you guys think I should do? So I'm gonna try some higher, I really don't wanna take out Swordsman, man. I really don't wanna take him out, um, but we gotta do something. So, Pioneer did so well last time. Hmm. You know what? I'll just I'll just do final mech. Final mech's not great on single target. You want high damage single target skills. But if they all die, then I guess it doesn't matter. I'm gonna leave Swordsman in. Just cause. Swordsman did so well on Guild Boss 3 that I, I really can't justify taking him out. But let's see. Basically, I think the way it is, if, if anybody gets attacked random two times in a row, which definitely could happen, just like it happened right there, um, it doesn't matter who I bring, they're all gonna die anyways. And so, what it seems to be is that we, the, we really need the redirect skill to be able to battle a boss that has attack randoms. Um, and then we also, let me do a heal here. Um, the next, announced project there's another shield um, the next announced project for the development team is actually adding um, monster augments so you can put gear on your minions that's like the next thing that they're working on and so what I'm thinking is guild boss is going to be tuned so difficult as it is right now that it's going to make you want to go out and get those augments um, so you can make your your minions do more damage um, I think that might be the intention of the way the system works out, and that makes sense. However, if I look at the damage meter from my DPS guildies, um, the DPS players on my guild are still doing like 99, 90 to 99% of the entire damage of their team. So for a DPS player, for them to um, gear up their minions is much less important um, because the player is doing all the damage. You, it would make sense for them to gear up their tank. That way the tank survives longer and they can go longer. Um, but that is yet to be seen. I'm honestly looking forward to, I'm, I'm very optimistic and looking forward to um, the, the augments coming in the game and ways that we can gear up our familiars. It also will kind of bridge the gap a little bit between what a minion can do and what a player can do. So um, I would like to see that. I think that would help everybody out pretty well. That was a lot of damage. Well, there we go. Did we hit Enrage? I don't know. I'm going to watch the footage after and see if I think that last attack was an Enrage attack. Also, if I have time, I'll probably add up and see how many attacks the boss did to see if we actually got to the 30 boss mark. But as you can see, regardless of my horrible damage, um, we're still getting three killing points per attempt. And then when, you, when your team, when your guild kills a boss, um, everybody in the guild, even if you didn't hit the boss, We'll get two of these killing points, and you can use these um, for bidding like you saw in auction. So I'll show that again, and then um, I'll probably roll some runes, and then we'll wrap up this long video. But I don't know if I deleted all my mail. Yeah, I did. Um, I was, n if you missed the other videos, I was not able to get an attack on guild boss one or two. My guild killed them so fast, I didn't even get a chance to attack. However, I still got, um, I still got uh, the killing points in the mail. So don't worry if, if you wake up late and you're the first two bosses in your guild are down, you're not missing out on anything. Um, there is a little bit of a rank points thing. So this is a guild boss one rank points. And so based on the damage there, you will get a, an award. So you'll get some of these honor points. If you miss out on this, that's really not a big deal. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. It's a nice, it's a little reward for those that have done a lot of damage, but if you miss out on it, you're not gonna worry about it, it's not a big deal. Um, so I think that system's okay. But let's take a look and click and see how bad it is. We did 50K over three attacks. That shield is brutal. That shield is brutal. I think that, that might be three attacks for not, I'm not certain. Get it, not certain, get it? Okay, sorry. No, and that's probably three attacks for Dino. 
So one of our boys did the math, and if you um, add up all the attempts per player in a guild, if the guild has 30 players, um, based on the 90 million hit points of guild boss 4, um, every single player needs an average of 200,000 damage per attack. And I don't think that includes any attack spent on killing the previous three guild bosses. So you're going to need a ton of damage, 200k. That's definitely beyond what we're doing here. I don't know if the augments are going to help that. And let's go look at loot one more time. Based on the amount of loot that we're getting here, um, wrong button, let's click on an auction. It is going to take forever for anyone, much less an entire guild, but it's going to take forever for anyone to get um, their set done. So let's, uh, we know that each boss drops one to four pieces of loot, um, and there's four bosses, and the devs did say they will add more bosses in the future, but we're not gonna worry about that right now because if my guild's not clearing guild boss four, um, ain't no guilds clearing guild boss four. But I will show towards the end of the week, I'll do a video there and show you how far we've gotten. There is a chance we could kill this thing. There's a chance. It might not be a great chance, but there's a chance. Um, but even if we were killing all the bosses, because the chance of sets is apparently pretty low, um, even if we were getting one set piece per week, you've got 30 members, there's six pieces in a set. It would take 180 weeks to get your entire guild in full set. So let me say that again. To get your entire guild, all 30 members, in full set, and that's six pieces per member, it would take 180 set pieces. Um, and so that would take 180 weeks if you're getting one set piece per week. Um, we might not get one set piece per week. So I think the loot drops is very, 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 very difficult. 180 weeks is um, a little bit ridiculous. Uh, now, keep in mind, it's early access. Things will change based on feedback and whatnot. Um, so I hope this is feedback, and I hope uh, something like that changes. Even one set piece per week is, uh, is pretty crazy. So anyways, that's, that's a lot of rambling. Um, stay tuned. If anything changes or updates, I'll feel free to... Uh, I'll definitely um, let you guys know about it. But let's go. Let's craft. Uh, I'm just going to scroll through and see if there's any other recipes. I don't think there's anything else new. Let's go and craft um, some chips. I'm kind of tempted to do a mount, honestly, now that I have enough mount materials. But that'll be another day. Yeah, we'll see. All right, so do I do the brain or do I do this little chips? I think little chips is the answer. So I have two damage reduction. I've got an absorb and I have an epic um, diversion. Anything defensive, honestly, would be okay except for dodge. So here we go. Boom. All right, guys, you know the drill. What do you think it is? You know the drill. Okay. Here we go. We're clicking. Absorb. Right on. Yeah, I got no problem with that. It's good. And we're going to do one more. All right, boys, here we go. One more. Whew, that moment. Boom. Okay. We're now officially out of gold, out of chip mats. What do you think it's going to be? Come on, damage reduction or diversion or anything. Here we go. We're clicking. Damage. We were hoping it was damage reduction. All right. Let's kill it, and that will wrap the video. So what if I accidentally killed the absorb one? That would feel pretty bad. Let's go and, uh, and socket that one in just in case. Let's go over to chips. Insert. Keep in mind, it doesn't matter where you insert these chips. The computing chips can all be switched around after, after you've inserted them. So I've got absorb, absorb, damage reduction, damage reduction. And then the middle brain is damage reduction. So not horrible. We're getting there. One of the reasons why you probably haven't seen me roll a lot of chips in videos recently is because um, we're getting there, man. We're, we're getting, we're doing okay on that. So bang, we get our mats back. We got to farm up some gold. And then looks like we'll be we'll be playing the gamble again. All right, fellas. As always, I appreciate you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.